What's up guys? Graham here, and we are playing some Physician Rogue. And I hardly ever play Physician Rogue, and so this may be a bad war front. Maybe a good one, I don't know. Uh, but we are going to try to heal some people and hopefully not suck. Because today we're going to talk about how there is no skill in PvP for the most part. And uh, it's not the player's fault, it is how the game is designed right now, which sucks because Rift PvP was the absolute best PvP I've ever played, and uh, except for like the high time of Dark Age Camelot. Come on, don't interrupt me this time. Yes! And I have no idea why their nameplates are not on. <sighs> Things are bugging out here. I'll try to fix it after this forefront. But, um... Yeah, um, let's see. Why is there no skill in PvP? Well, for one is there are so many bursty classes. And they're making them more and more bursty as they go along. Uh, you know, take for instance, I've always been, you know, uh, against how much uh, burst, utility, everything else that an Inquisitor has had. I've always felt like it was one of the best specs in the game for PvP. Well, they beefed it up. Mm, dang it, I don't know if I'll be able to survive a Pyromancer and two Pyromancers, no. Uh, well, if they're, oh, dang it. Yeah, now we got three people. But I don't want to line inside them, I want to interrupt them, I don't want them capping. Uh, I'm gonna die. Uh, stop CC me. Okay, yeah. Dead. But, um, yeah, there's just so much burst in the game right now that it takes no skill at all. I mean, I showed you guys in my Pyromancer videos uh, where I did the two war fronts in one video. And, uh, yeah, I was just running around with an undergeared Pyromancer, just basically button smashing. Kill and I was topping kills almost every single time. And it was just so easy. Well, that's how PvP is right now. It is just the people do not have to use skill in order to kill you anymore. And I die all the time now. I mean, it, it's nothing about my skill at all. It's how people are bursting. Well, another thing that goes into it, and this has always been an issue, is uh, not getting healers or pre-maids or something like that. A lot of the people that people are calling good these days, uh, they may be good players, but you can't see it nowadays because they're always in pre-mades. And if they're not in pre-mades, they're probably getting blown up all the time. So, I almost always run solo, so I get in tons and tons of teams that have zero healers. And then we'll face off against a pre-made that had brought their own healers. Stuff like that, so... You know, that's just how the game is right now, and I've always been a big advocate on uh, people queue up and they're stuck with the specs that they queue up with, and then let the matchmaking do its job. As in, if you queue up as a healer, you know, expect to be put on a team that, you know, isn't going to be able to stack healers. It's going to be uh, even healers on the other team or really close. Um, but I, I guess they've never liked that idea, so, you know, it never got uh, adapted. Well, uh, dang it, kind of, kind of sin here, I bet. Yep, sin. I guess he, uh, he thought I, uh, I guess he has me heal, uh, marked as a healer, so he thought he'd just cap it right in my face after a CC. Not gonna happen, man. Probably don't need to be attacking him, but basically playing with this guy. There's no way he's going to kill me by himself. Just no way. Healing is too strong. Um, with uh, that's another thing I was going to talk about is warfronts are won or lost by healers. You know, people playing objectives and all that other stuff is important as well. But if you put it on a level playing field to where uh, people are picking up the objectives or capping the flags or whatever else on both teams, 
then it's always going to be the team that has the most healers that's winning. Well, not always, but almost always. Uh, if you get on a team that uh, is lacking healers, I would estimate it's less than a 5% chance that you're going to win that Warfront. Oh no, he's got help coming. Okay, this is a sin on me, so that's a lot of DPS. And a Marksman. No! No! That's too much DPS, man. If it was something like a... I don't know anything else but a pyromancer. I probably would have survived this. I'm probably going to die. Yep, I can't stop him. Darn it. But yeah, healing is very, very strong right now. There are preservers that I can show you video of jumping in the middle of like our team of eight and they're basically toying with us. And it's unbelievable how they're able to just face tank all this damage and heal right through it. And that's how healing is right now. If, if you got enough healers, you're probably going to win. Now, um, there are occasions where you get bad healers. So, you know, you can't, you can't just like show a screenshot of, you know, us having three healers and you having two and you pulled it off and it's, it's like yeah but you know what's the quality of healers the quality of the DPS really doesn't matter you know anymore it doesn't uh, because everybody's getting blown up anyway so it's healers man I mean uh, to re reiterate that point is you can have a team with all tanks and all healers and they'll win probably 90% of the war fronts uh, the reason for that being is that if they cap the flag or uh, um, grab the stone or something like that, they'll just heal through all your damage. Uh, you can you can run these burst specs, but healing is just so strong. And if you're another burst person going up against burst classes, it's all about who blows each other up first. It's not about wearing people down and healing being a compliment. It's it's absolutes. You know, healing heals you, you know, all the way, all the time, kind of thing. And, yeah, I don't know. I, the, the state of PvP right now is really frustrating to me because I love Rift PvP, but things are wrong with it. Things are very, very wrong. I mean, I'm almost always running as a, a Reaver, like a support Reaver. I'm a warrior because healing is so strong. I'm trying to debuff the enemies. Well, then I run into a pyromancer. Boom, I'm dead. Instant. Run into a sin. Boom, I'm dead. You know, just that's how it goes. That's how PvP is right now, sadly. And I hope they fix it, man. I so hope they fix it. But we'll see. Hey, that's nice. That guy ran up to take me out, and then all of a sudden a bunch of my teammates ran up right then. Imagine they were just looking for somebody to kill, but... It's nice to think that they came to help me. Need better gear on this character. That's for sure. Yeah, I probably ran in raved enough on this video about the PvP state, but it's kind of depressing because I love PvP so much in Rift. Really, really do. I, I hope he gets in a better place real soon. Alright, let's see how we did with the healing. And we had two pre-maids on our team, and it looks like no pre-maids on the enemy team. Stack pre-maids on our team. How you like that? All right, so we did pretty good healing, 768,000. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the thumbs up button as usual. My name is Graham, and I'll see you next time.